Hi everyone, Mr. Abdurazak here, and the topic for this video is properties and classes of materials, part two. Uh, the first part I talked about wood and metals. This is the second part, and this is going to be about ceramics and glass. Now, in, recall in my previous video about wood and metals, I said that the products of technology are basically made from five major materials that occur naturally on Earth. It is important to know the properties of these materials in order to fully understand why and how they are used. Now, what is ceramics? Now, this word ceramic was gotten from the Greek word keramikos, which means pottery. So by so saying, it means that pottery and ceramic describe the same thing. Now, both pottery and ceramics are general terms that describe making objects from clay and other ceramic materials by firing and decorating or glazing or make or painting and making beautiful now examples of these objects are ceramic um, uh, water closet uh, sculptures electric sockets spark plugs and plaster of paris and a lot lot more now there are three main types of ceramics you have the earthenware which is at the top of the slide you can see this picture here the one at the top uh, it is made from clay that is fired at a relatively low temperature of between 1000 degrees centigrade to 1150 degrees centigrade. Now, the resulting um, material or object usually has small holes in them, they are slightly porous and therefore cannot be used to carry water. So, in order to, for it to be able to carry water, it is needed, it's, um, glazing is going to be needed the second time. So, it's going to be glazed a second time to make it waterproof and a lot of people do not have that time so which brings us to the second type of ceramic that we have there is the stoneware the stoneware is made from clay which is fired at a temperature of about 1200 degrees centigrade and uh, it results in a very very beautiful material that is denser and stone like in quality and it is usually waterproof and the example you can see an example of the picture uh, just below the picture of the earthenware the second picture here from the top yeah then the third type of ceramic materials and um, the third type of ceramic material here is the porcelain uh, this is uh, uh, this is gotten from clay which is fired at a very high temperature of approximately 1200 degrees centigrade to 1450 degrees centigrade it is usually very hard shiny and often very white in appearance and it is uh, the most common type that most of us have in our houses now properties of ceramics uh, the first thing we need to know is that uh, nobody needs to tell us ceramics are very brittle it falls if it falls from your hand just forget it it's done except if a miracle happens then uh, they are hard which means they cannot be compressed okay they do not wear out easily yes and they can withstand very high temperature and they are very 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 poor conductors of heat and electricity now glass glass uh, is usually talked about differently from other ceramic materials because uh, oftentimes the glass itself has a lot of uses and um, it's one of the most unique ceramic material there is so glass is a type of ceramic that is composed of sand which is silica sand soda lime so and soda and lime okay and the major ingredients of this are mixed and, and melted to such a temperature that all the gases are given off and the clear liquid is obtained now this liquid is molten gas and molten glass which eventually is formed into this beautiful glass that you are seeing in different forms here now there are different forms of glass you have the sheet glass the plate glass and rolled glass now there are several uses of glass you use glass for your windows for your doors for lenses of um, your glasses for bottles for cups for uh, your bulbs for fluorescent for electrical insulators and a lot lot more now what is the difference between glass and other ceramic materials what make glass unique now the first is other ceramic materials are usually opaque which means that it do not allow light to pass through them while glass is usually transparent it allows glass and uh, lights to pass through now the other difference is other ceramic materials are usually made from clay while glass is usually made from silica sand soda lime and um, soda and lime as the major 
ingredient now uh, another another difference is that other ceramic materials are usually more expensive than glass then um, lastly other ceramic materials are crystalline or partly crystalline what does this mean it means that they have a structure or form that looks like that of a crystal okay while glass is non crystalline now in this video we've been able to talk about ceramics the types of ceramic there is the properties of ceramics glass uh, the forms of glass um, and how glass differs from other ceramic materials now your assignment is going to be uh, to write out the properties of glass that differentiates it from other ceramic materials and you should list at least four examples each of objects made of ceramics and glass thank you for listening god bless you watch out for the next video on properties of classes um properties and classes of materials party which is going to be about plastics and rubber thank you